assuming that you're going to go to some events and you're going to deal with some discomfort, here's what I would recommend that you do is basically to have a system for yourself that you're going to follow consistently and realize it's going to take time. Like most likely that first event you go to is going to be kind of awkward. You're not going to know a lot of people. You're going to have more awkward moments than not awkward moments. One of the things I've found is that going to events consistently over time, multiple years in a row, gets you to the point where you know people at the events, you feel a lot more comfortable, and generally the experience goes better. But you have to just be aware of that going into it, that like you're going to have to put in some time. Right. It's funny because I've gone to a bunch of Magento events. Whenever I go to a Magento event now, I immediately know people at the events and things like that. And it's just a lot easier. But having moved to Austin and going to some different Austin meetups that are not Magento related, I don't know anybody. And it's like I'm starting from ground zero again and feeling what that feels like to start from ground zero, not knowing anybody and having to kind of break the ground from the beginning. So it's, it's definitely hard. What I mean by going into it with a system is let's say you say to yourself, look, I'm going to go introduce myself myself, I'm going to say hi to give yourself a number, right? Three people, five people, right? Let's say you pick the number five. You're going to approach five people and go into it knowing that it might not be the greatest interaction in the world, right? But just give yourself that commitment and then count it up and do those five reps, so to speak, of, of introducing yourself. And then once you're done with that, you can kind of give yourself permission to check out. And if you want to leave, you know, let's say it's a, it's an all day conference and there's nighttime events. If you don't want to go to the nighttime events, don't go, right? Give yourself that freedom, that permission that, Hey, I, I put in what I was going to commit to, and I'm going to give myself permission to sort of be lazy and, you know, go into my cocoon and not socialize versus like, if you do have one interaction, that's awkward. And then you just like give up entirely for the rest of the day. That's not as quite as optimum, um, as giving yourself, you know, let's say those five interactions. So give yourself something to commit to push through that. Once you've pushed through that, you put that effort in, give yourself permission to do whatever you want to do whatever you're comfortable doing and then within each of those interactions just have some simple things that you do like it's it's really simple to actually just ask people questions I think one of the mistakes that people can tend to make when they go to a conference you've spent the money to get there you have some goals to get there maybe you want to get some business maybe you want to get a job maybe you want to get some leads and then maybe you kind of go a little bit overboard and kind of selling yourself and I'm always a fan of just kind of asking people questions getting to know people I find that's a, a better way in general General, to engage with people, to connect, really to network with people is just to be curious, just to ask questions. Walk up to somebody and it's like, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Da, da, da. Where do you work? And then they'll ask you where you work. And then, you know, oh, what do you do there? Give yourself a list of questions, right? The first one, obviously, how's it going? What kind of work do you do? And then just give yourself like a couple of simple questions that you can ask each of these five people, how long you've been working there. It's really, really basic. But what happens when you're meeting people for the first time is you feel awkward. Your voice is awkward. Everything's awkward. You get flustered. You don't know what to say next kind of a thing. So just give yourself that little roadmap of those short list of basic questions. And then as you're talking more, see if you can just ask more questions. People generally love to talk about themselves. So just asking people questions, being inquisitive is a great way to connect with people. And then, like I said in the beginning, like sometimes you can go a little too overboard in selling yourself. On the flip side, it's always a good sign if you're asking somebody questions and then they ask you a question and then they go, oh, so what do you do? Da, 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 right? That's your opportunity to tell them more about yourself, tell them more about what you do when they're asking. And that's when you know you're doing kind of a good job of just building rapport with them. Oh, Ray. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Ray Bogman, uh, Pac-Man principal. What Ray's talking about, this is something I, I want to say that uh, Sherry Rohde had talked about one of her talks. The idea of a Pac-Man principal is when you're at a conference, when you're like socializing, whatever, in the hallway track, you'll find that you'll tend to form little groups of people that are talking, right? So that maybe there's five people or four people and you tend to form like in a circle and then when people are walking by you know, let's say people you know they kind of want to join in on the conversation but if it's like a closed circle they won't really feel comfortable especially if they don't know you and so one of the things that's good to do instead of forming a closed circle is to do more of like a pac-man where you have like an opening right so that's just a good habit like if you find yourself at a conference in order to be welcoming to newcomers make that pac-man opening so that somebody can slip in to your circle and connect. So that's a great rule of thumb. So yeah, that's pretty much it.